Uh, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine getting approved by the European Union today, which also ordered 400 million doses of the one-shot vaccine. Today's Countdown Closer likes J&J for a different reason. Not even, a, not even a factor, Ted. Ted Oakley is with Oxbow Advisors. And as we uh, join here, he's got one and a half billion in assets under management. Um, Ted, what do you like if not the vaccine? Well, you know, Liz, uh, I don't know if people realize this, but they did their vaccine not for profit. But, you know, they have a huge yes. medical device at business that people, obviously, during COVID, they wouldn't come out and do those types of operations and make those changes. That should be a big boost for them the next, uh, you know, over the next two or three years. And so we think that's going to have a big impact. And just, you know, Johnson Johnson has an overall business that's fantastic. And so at these levels, two and a half percent dividend looks pretty good. Aside from J&J, you've got two other names for two separate reasons. Let's talk about those because I find it really interesting that you're picking these names for reasons that are completely separate from your J&J theory. You've got Adobe for growth and Enterprise Products Partners LP for income. Tell me about Adobe. Well, on a, you know, Adobe, it's obviously it's a company we think can grow at 15% for the next five years. And it's a fairly, it's a good entry point at this level. You look at their balance sheet, it's really clean. You know, this is a company between four and five billion dollars in cash. So they've got more cash than they need and they've got a great product. And so we think overall they do a lot of different things, but we really like Adobe for the next five years. And on, yeah, on and that, man, that products, CEO, Shantanu Narayan, is great. Uh, Shantanu is a, just a genius. But um, yeah, Enterprise, tell me about that one. That, that's got a very big yield, does it not? It does. It's income? an 8% yield in, in yeah, income, uh, you know, but it also has a lot of capital upside if you look at it. Six years ago, that stock was $40, Liz, uh, with a 4% dividend. Today, it's 23 with an 8% dividend. Uh, and the best company we feel like as far as a widespread oil, natural gas, natural gas liquids, terminals, a uh, very, very well-run company. We are on track for four record closes on four of the five major indices. Tell me, Ted, does this climb just continue on and on and on? And, and do, do you look way down the road and see anything that could at least slow it down? Well, I think, Liz, what could slow it down is a surprise that uh, inflation goes higher than people expect and the, and the bond yields go higher than people expect. It probably wouldn't show up until the summer. But if you, you know, that hasn't been a really great thing for stocks in all the time I've been in the business. So if you're going to watch one thing, I think you have to watch that. It's great to have you, Ted. Uh, as we watch these names cycle through, it is fascinating to see the double digit percentage gains from one year ago today when the World Health Organization announced that, yes, indeed, the COVID virus is indeed a pandemic. Ted Oakley, we'll see you next time.